Meanwhile, India's maiden sun study mission, Aditya Alwan, has completed one month of its four-month voyage in space. The craft has traveled nearly four, nearly a million kilometers away from the Earth. However, at its destination, there's some kind of traffic. In the next report, we will tell you more on how this traffic will be managed in space. Take a look. Two, one, zero. India's Aditya L1 spacecraft, the country's maiden mission to study the sun, was launched on September 2nd. Almost a month after being launched by the PSLV XL rocket, ISRO said that the craft had traveled 920,000 kilometers away from Earth. This is almost two thirds the distance to its destination L1 point or the Lagrangian point one. The Elven point is between the Earth and the Sun. Precisely, it is 15 lakh kilometers away from the Earth. It is a vantage point from where it would be possible to have an unobstructed view of the Sun and its phenomena. It is also quite energy efficient to remain at that point. This, as the craft has to spend very less fuel to circle the L1 point. From the L1 point, it is possible for a craft to remain constantly in touch with the antennae on Earth. As it heads towards the L1 point, Aditya L1 has got company there. Analysis by ISRO had revealed that there are already four operational crafts around the L1 point. These crafts belong to NASA and the European Space Agency. These are NASA's wind mission meant to study solar wind. NASA ESA Solar and Heliospheric Observatory to study the Sun and its heliosphere. NASA's Advanced Composition Explorer to observe particles of solar wind and Deep Space Climate Observatory to monitor space weather. Given the considerable traffic of spacecraft around the L1 point, ISRO and NASA will be carrying out an assessment of the situation. This will ensure that all crafts can remain there and can carry out their respective missions safely. While traveling to any destination in space, space agencies analyze how the traffic situation is at the destination. This is done by looking at the number of spacecraft present there and also the kind of orbits or paths in which these spacecrafts are traveling. In technical terms, this information is known as space situational awareness. Based on this information, the agencies calculate the probable paths in which these various spacecrafts can travel. They also look into the possibilities of these spacecrafts coming very close or dangerously close to each other and a possible risk of collisions. Once these are known, the space agencies communicate with one another and maneuver their crafts to safety. This is a means of ensuring that space and orbits remain accessible to all and then all spacecraft missions can carry out their missions in their respective orbits safely and sustainably. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.